Hi Scorpio, long time no see. I was on a short sabbatical and it feels absolutely amazing to be back. I'm here with your June astrology horoscope. Remember to like and subscribe to my channel. It will allow me to create more content for you. So this month we have uh, quite an exciting turn of events that are happening for you. There's a lot of focus that is there at your house of work and this is also the house of health and we have Saturn that is going direct for you and Saturn has been retrograde. It goes about retrograde every year for four and a half months and uh, that is a time where uh, we tend to learn lessons which we may have been avoiding. So let me break down the month for you. On the 5th we have Mercury that goes direct and Mercury is uh, all about conversations, communication, networking, travel and also anything which has to do with your tech gadgets. Mercury has been retrograde the entire May and till about uh, 5th of June which was a good time to be revisiting, redoing and also reanalyzing things that you may have started or you may have been doing. Never a good time to be picking up a new job during a Mercury retrograde. Now that Mercury has gone direct, great time to be planning your travel uh, schedule, great time to be opening up those negotiations, those conversations and also a fabulous time to be having those tough conversations. We have Saturn that is going direct in your house of home. This is the house of Cancer and it also rules your mother and uh, Saturn in this house focuses on strengthening your own core foundation, your foundation at home as to who it is that you are, what is it that you identify with, or your roots, your uh, own mental makeup and things which you need to be overcoming. On the very superficial level, it's a good time to be decluttering your house, it's a good time to be renting, leasing, buying, shifting homes. It's a great time to be also focusing on issues that you may have with your family. Uh, it's a fabulous time also to be recognizing if there is a certain toxicity that is there in your closest relationship that you call it out or you heal that relationship. You may also feel uh, as the transit begins that you're quite constricted as far as you know whether uh, your relations, closest relationships are concerned or you could be feeling literally constricted in your current place where you live. It may, it also speaks about stagnation and uh, whatever the issues that are causing uh, this restriction, uh, it's a good time to be tackling your inner foundation Scorpio and to make it more solid, make it more strong and something durable that will sustain for a very long time. We have a full moon that is there in your house of uh, finance and income. So it can be that a project is coming to an end for a lot of you. It can also be a source of income is drying up and uh, you could be um, also be looking at you know more jobs, you could be applying at other places. This specific house also deals with our self worth. So remember not to equate yourself with the amount of money that you have in bank Scorpios. Uh, we also have Mercury that is moving into Gemini on the 14th and that's happening in your house of joint finances, sexuality and intimacy. And it can be that you could be having these tough conversations with someone. You could be speaking about uh, maybe sexual or intimacy issues. You could also be speaking about power struggles in a relationship as to who needs to be having their last year or who it is that needs to be patching up or who's the first one to patch up in the relationship or maintains the peace. On the 22nd, we have Sun that moves into your house of long distance travel. This is also the house of spiritual growth and expanding your time, your mind, sorry. Uh, for a lot of you, you will want to experience or have experiences that really open up your mind and soul and the I think a lot of things could be feeling stagnated, they could be feeling as if um, you know that you could be feeling restricted by it both emotionally and physically, there could just be the sense of boredom that nothing is really moving or changing and a sense of mindless repetition as well and uh, it's a fabulous time during this transit to be traveling to different countries, to be uh, meeting people from different cultures and backgrounds from yourself and a uh, good time to be learning something new, studying philosophy or even for some of you to going back to school irrespective of how old you are, 
you will be uh, some of you will be identifying a lot with your own beliefs and uh, you know you will be quite enthusiastic to have quite a lively debate around it uh, you or you are also going to be in a space where you're going to be more outspoken than usual and you're not going to be hesitating voicing your opinions but uh, Scorpions keep the big picture in the end, you know, don't sort of burn your bridges through your words, uh, especially in a professional setup, even though you may feel very strongly uh, about a certain topic, uh, just keep in mind as to what the repercussions of that could be. Uh, on the 29th, we are closing the month with a new moon that is there again in your house of uh, long distance travel and spirituality and uh, this really speaks about uh, besides the re restlessness and the dissatisfaction that this new moon tends to uh, begin you could um, you know be um, you could be quite restless that projects are not starting and a lot of you could be uh, some of you could be initiating creating that means that you could literally be starting your own venture uh, with a friend or you could be collaborating and you could be um, you could be feeling almost renewed this sense of purpose would be there you know that you want to sort of do this overhaul you want to start again you want to start afresh you want to create do something unique and something exciting and uh, also because this is a house of expansion it can be that uh, you know it's through the internet that it reaches uh, or impacts people globally maybe you become sort of a, a speaker or an expert of sorts in your own field and you're able to reach out to people on a global platform. It's been a pleasure speaking with you Scorpios. Do remember to subscribe to my channel. It will allow me to create more content for you. I'll see you again soon and thank you so much for watching.